Well, good Wednesday afternoon. Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev, and this is this week's Ride Along with Me. <laughs> now, today I'm, I just got off the freeway into Silverdale, you know, the little town next to us that has all the stores. <laughs> and uh, I figured it'd be kind of boring if I sat and yacked and yacked and yacked while on the freeway. So, I was going to do this yesterday, but it was so windy and raining, and I thought, no, I'm not going out there. Uh -uh. So, today it's not raining, but there's a lot of clouds in the sky, some sun breaking through, and it's 59 degrees. I'm still in short pants, though. <laughs> so, uh... Today, we are going to go to Hobby Lobby. Now, I'm I'm hoping I'm not too late because I saw that the shelves were clearing out because they've got all kinds of the plants and all those you know types of things, like 70, 75% off. No, there was Red Lobster all closed. So, I didn't want to go in on the weekend. I figured, okay, I'll do it for my... Uh, Right along with me adventure. Now don't mind my hair. I just got out of the shower when I, right before I left. So it's still kind of scraggly. Of course it gets scraggly anyway. I really need a haircut. So what was I going to talk about? I, I thought of things, but you know, by the time I get on with you, I've forgotten. <laughs> Let's see. After Hobby Lobby. Oh. I need to remember, I want to go down to, to the mall down here, it was just to my left, and go into Barnes and Noble, because I want to get a map of Porto, Porto, Portugal. <laughs> Looking for more like a street map so we can see how close everything is. Now, we're not going until September of 25, but we like to be very prepared for what we're going to do, what we're going to go see, so we can get the most out of the trip without wearing grandma out too much so um, let's turn here so during this all this time before we do go you know we watch a lot of videos uh, YouTube videos on it well, I see they're finally doing something with the old Pier 1 Imports store wonder what's going to go in there see if I can see when I turn in here. Oh, I guess that wasn't a sign I saw on my peripheral peripheral vision. It's a, a little crane. Okay, well, the parking lot looks rather busy. Yep, 75% off. Got it in the door. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now it was fast out. I saved you all that time of anxiously waiting for when we were going to get here. So. Okay. I'll be right back. Fingers crossed. Wasn't crowded at all. And even on the line, I walked right up. They only had the uh, returns one open, just one line, and there's one woman in front of me and me. So I don't know what all these cars are for, but they're really spread out. Now that's a smaller store than, say, the one I go to in Yuma, because this was made to fit into an old Toys R Us. But I got a $74. But they were on sale. So it would have been even more. So now we're going to go over to Barnes and Noble. So I'll turn you around so you can see because we're going down into the mall. And uh, that way you can see how the mall looks just from where I'm going. Whoop -de -doo. Okay, hold on. Over there to my right is, uh, to your right too, is uh, where the 
Pier 1 used to be. I used to love that store. I was sad when it went out of business. But I could say I don't see any signage saying what's going in there. Here come my touchy brakes. <laughs> Never know when they're gonna do that. I went in the wrong way. Oh, there's a big hole. Let's see. What that like. Oh, didn't avoid it. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, grandma. <laughs> Why does Bob worry about me driving? I'll bleep that part out. Now up here as I go into the mall, over to the right is where the new Winco went. And that was a, uh, a Sears. The sun's out now though, it feels warm, but it still says it's 59 in my car. that guy if I pull out in front of him. Okay, let's see. Let's see, there's an entrance to the mall. And there's a Dick's Sporting Goods. And Barnes and Noble. There's a sheriff car. I would like to tell you, when I was coming down my main road to go down to the freeway, I had a sheriff car behind me the whole time. And, and it's not like I'm breaking any laws, but it just makes you feel nervous when they're behind you, you know, here. <laughs> it's crowded in here today, too. <laughs> no parking places. Let's see, where should I go? Um, we'll try this row. No, it doesn't look like there's any in here either. Next road there is. And next to the Barnes and Noble is a World Market Cost Plus. I don't really find that things are that great a bargain in those places. Okay, let's turn in here. Okay, here we are. So oh, I shall be back. It's been several years since I've been in here, so they've changed everything around. This is all of the kids' section all through here. Harry Potter, all that kind of stuff. Entertainment. Rooms to travel. Baby, baby new parenting. Biography. Okay, here we go. International maps. I'm gonna turn you off for a minute. I am back from Barnes and Noble. You know, I could spend a lot of time in there, but I'd spend a lot of money if I did buying things I probably wouldn't read. <laughs> can I say? I always have good intentions. So I did find my map, but I felt funny walking up and just buying one little map, you know, so I did buy a book too. So I'll show that stuff to you when I do my haul video. Okay. Uh, so now we will go to Home goods. Now, one of the reasons I'm going to it is because they are building one in Yuma, right between Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree, which is an area I frequent. <laughs> so, 
So I want to see what they have if it's just its own store. I've, I've been in one like when Michelle and I go shopping in Vegas and there's a uh, home goods attached to TJ Maxx. So that is the one that is always so crowded. <laughs> that felt funny. And that's the one you stand in like a, a double the size line that you normally would stand in. <coughs> Excuse me. If you were just in TJ Maxx and wanting to check out. <sighs> so this, it's not too far from here. We're pulling right back out of the mall area that we turned into. Okay, let's get ahead of these cars. <sighs> Still says 59, but it just feels so much warmer when the sun is out. Yeah, my hair's still a little. <laughs> At least you know I'm clean. Ooh. I always get so hot when I go shopping and into stores. People probably look at me and why is she dressed for summer? You know, because I got my capris on, short sleeve shirt, flip flops. It's not like I don't have the long pants and long sleeve shirts and stuff, but if I wore them, I'd be even more uncomfortable in the stores. Come on, light change. Oh, I had to turn, turn people. Oh, well, I got good news. My my son and his son are both stopping by next Tuesday. So they'll be there Tuesday afternoon. And then in the morning, I'll take them to the ferry. And they'll get their way to the uh, airport in the morning. I mean, from when they get to the other side in Seattle. So at least I get to see him for a little bit. He says around noon, but you know, we'll see. At least he's coming from, uh, well, I guess down a little down south. It's not like he's coming from visiting some of his buddies where, you know, they might've been drinking and partying the night before, and then he wouldn't get over here till probably night. <laughs> but they're gonna be with uh, the, uh, Phil's dad. And then I guess he's gonna drive them up here drop them off. <sighs> here we go. Just turn in here. You can see why I have to come into this town to, to go to any stores. because This is where they all are. You know, they're all around this whole big mall area. And you do, you know? The only one they have out my way is Walmart, of which I'll be doing the Walmart run maybe next week. I'm not sure. Bob's already gone up there, you know, like on the weekend, I guess, because Miss Callie Cuckoo needed food. Oh, that crazy nutcake heck, I'll tell you. I wish I could capture all the crazy things she does. Usually, by the time I get my camera, she's stopped what she's doing. <laughs> we were watching a video yesterday on uh, what the, the hair color of your cat, you know, what the color their fur is. How it determines a lot of their personality and their possible health issues they could have. And... Uh, so we had it on and after a little bit we look and she's sitting there on the floor just watching it, you know. <laughs> crazy, crazy nut girl. Let's just go down this way. See, we've got an old navy here. Sprouts, sleep number, and that's just on this one side of it. Oh, this little mall. 
there's the sprouts. We're going all the way down to the end here. Now here's a Carter's. Is that still in there? Um, Carter's and Oshkosh by gosh. And Ulta. wine store. Well, we don't need to go in there. And then finally down here, home goods. Most of these spots here. Okay, good. There's one right in the front. It's not handicap. Here we go. There we go. I'll be back. Hold, don't hold your breath. I love these planters. I would love to have one to put in my yard in Yuma. Let's see. Well, maybe they'll have some in the store there. Oh, we're done. I got one of these. Little or cars, man, is it a workout to push? But I figured the workout would do me good on my arms. I'm going to show you just a little bit of the store. There's probably a lot of you have already been in Home Goods. Come on, let's see, where's sales tags? Pretty well stocked. Love these colored ones. How much are they anyway? <laughs> Nothing on it. It says the price. And this one here is Portugal. <laughs> this one. <laughs> well, it looks like at this point I'm going to get this one. Twenty four ninety nine though. Ouch. Backyard, but they're expensive. I bet five dollars each. We got yellow ones over here. <clears throat> the blue side over here. Clearance rule. These for now. Three fifty instead of four ninety nine. I see so many things in here that I just love to buy and take home, but I wouldn't need them. <laughs> Again, I'm not using them. things that are not clearance. And here's all the 
throw pillows. Door blank. Oh, that's pretty. Pillows. They're more like pillows for your chairs. And then they would like some from Portugal. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <coughs> Cushions. Ooh, I'm back. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> excuse me. Went into Home's Goods, and of course, they got a whole lot of stuff. And you'll see, I, I actually took a little bit of video of inside the store. And uh, I got one thing, but that one thing was $24.99, but I thought it was so pretty hanging in my backyard. So uh, then I decided while I'm here, let's go down to Ulta. So I walked down there. Uh, everything's so expensive in there. Of course, you know, you're talking to a gal who buys things at Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, now when I was in uh, Hobby Lobby, I had to get help snack for the ride home. Ooh. So let's get that oh, poured in there. Bob finds little different pa empty packages from different candies in, in the Little central thing. Let's put this in my purse. Let's see, where does it go? In here? No, I'm still getting used to where everything is in this purse. Okay, I think I've had it for the day today. It's 4.13. Almost out of gas. Bob said when I get home, he'll take the car out and fill it up. <laughs> Oh, let me take a chance on running out. <coughs> I don't, I don't put gas in the car. I, I can. Don't take me wrong. I can. Why should I? My man wants to. Makes him feel good. Makes him feel like a man. So whatever he wants to do for me. Sure, honey. I, I can do it. And he'll say, no, no, I'll do it for you. Okay. So, the only other place here that I have been keeping from going to is crumble cookies. <laughs> you know why I won't go in there. I mean, the cookies are real expensive, so I'd have to buy at least three. Yes. <laughs> Well, we're talking like 15 bucks for cookies when I could pay $1.25 at Dollar Tree for a whole package. <laughs> and to me, they taste just as good. I'm not picky. Well, sounds like there's a door opening here. You know. So, this is the one. There's DSW Marshalls. I'm looking on the other side now. Marshalls, Sierra Post, Mud Bay, Purpose. Some of those are, there's a Waffle Stop, Verizon, the Sushi Place, Blazing Onion, and the, uh, the Cookie Place is over here to my right near Habit Burger. <laughs> They're trying to make me hungry. Who's gonna go? Anybody? I guess I will. Hot, hot, hot. Push 
this air on a little bit higher. <laughs> Let's see. Up. Oh. I'm gonna say, would you like to see the yes guy? There it is. After I get on the freeway, I'm going to turn you off until I'm almost home. There we go. Here we go. Looks like the light's green up there. Let's see if I can make it in time. This is the weird lights where you're. you're so you'll get to see this weird. Now see the cars that are turning to the left? They're probably, we're coming up right straight in front of traffic. Let me turn you so you can see what I mean when they start coming. So depending on which light you're at, which way you're going, you cross over into the other lane. It was weird at first to get used to it, but we have, you know, the first time he tries that, whoa, whoa, those cars are coming towards us. <laughs> oh, I forget, I've got my little lemon eggs down here. I could be munching on. Now watch, the cars will come right towards us. Your turn. Here they come. I guess the light waits to give you plenty of time, but here they come. See, crossing right in front of us, going over to go onto the freeway. Those cars over to the right are going on the freeway. So they're coming they're all in front of the cars next to me. You know, they wait a little while to make sure it gets the length. Yep, and then, then I get to go. Well, here I come, people. Hope you stopped. <laughs> Creepy, isn't it?
talking about Porto, Portugal. We want to this time go up to a there's two train stations. So when we want to go to it's beautifully decorated inside. I don't mean just with decorations, but the way it was made originally. All kinds of the blue tiles and stuff like that. And then right near it is a McDonald's that looks gorgeous. So we want to go in there. Isn't that funny? Okay, so here we go down the front street. Last weekend they had the Viking Fest, which the weather was really crappy for. We didn't come down here. We don't usually come down for those things because there's nowhere to park. By the time you find a place to park and walk and walk and walk and walk to it, I'm ready to go back home. way on this big building on my left that they're building or actually they're redoing a building that was there. It's real old. This stop sign here, I don't even use my brake. I just kind of slowly roll up to it and then it <laughs> Because nobody's kind of come from the right because it's a one way. So that was it. That was the downtown. People say we should shop local. I know, but everything's so expensive. <laughs> done, caught up, up to my, what, two inches worth of gray hair that's growing out. And I was looking in that house there to see if the kitties are still there that used to live there. Now when I go in, Callie will greet me. When I'm leaving, she gets so mad, she just kind of won't look at me. And today I would say, please look at me. She wouldn't look. Please, Kelly, please look at me. And finally, she slowly turns her head. What? <laughs> but she's got her daddy there with her. It's not like I'm. we're leaving her totally alone. Such a spoiled little kitty with her stay-at-home parents. <laughs> Bunny, that baby one just ran across the street. <laughs> and Bob took a little video this morning. When I got up, there, how did all that bird seed get spilled all over the table that I had that little container on? And uh, Bob says, "Go look at the video I sent you." <laughs> so I go look, and I'll post it so you got to look and see what it is. here. Our mailbox is just a little too tall for me. came yesterday. Oh, 
Okay, now Bob's probably breathing a sigh of relief. She's back, unharmed. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's it for uh, the writing part. Now I'll have to go in and do all the, the videos, of which Callie will probably come help me. So, <laughs> you know what to do. Comment, share, like, and subscribe. I hope you all are having a great week and that you enjoyed this ride. I love you all. Bye.